What's up everybody? I'm going to show you today how to do a quick proof of concept mock-up on an Adobe Analytics real-time dashboard. Now you need to have your real-time turned on for your report suite. That would be located in the administrator settings under the report suite settings and then at the real-time settings and you have to turn that on and enable the dimensions and metrics involved that you want to have real-time reporting for. You can also view this already in the reports section of the uh, web interface for Adobe Analytics but this is pretty cool because if you wanted to have some real-time reporting like on a page for like an internal, I don't know, site or something that employees are using to see analytics and stuff like that with the pages involved, then this might be a good option. But anyways, you just go into the repository. It's under the Adobe Marketing Cloud. You can see it up there in the top and it's the analytics real-time dashboard example repository. You want to clone it and download it. So download the zip as I showed you right there and you get this file with a series of files in it. And what you're going to do is you download Brackets. It's a text file editor by Adobe. And Brackets is cool because you can do a live preview. And what I did was you can just save the file after you've added your information and go to File, Live Preview. Now you want to go to Lesson 1, and in here it's going to tell you about setting up your real-time report and basically testing it in the API Explorer. So you want to get your username and your secret from your user settings in the Adobe Analytics web interface and you'll need to get that from your administrator or um, if you have an admin account just go grab it from your profile okay and you're going to enter it in there and then you go to select uh, report and then run in here and then you can run the example snippet of code that they have in the repository to test to make sure your real-time reporting is working you got that done you got brackets you downloaded the repository and the zip file and extracted it you're ready to go okay and then you're going to go to lesson two basically because this is just telling you how to test and validate after you've set up your real-time reporting, all right? And so you're going to go to Lesson 2. When you get into Lesson 2, it goes a little bit more into the granular stuff. And basically, you just have to open two files, your index.html file, which is in the main folder, the root folder of the project, the repository that you downloaded. And then you're going to go into the JS folder, and you're going to open the config.js file, okay? Because you have to put in your username, and secret, and your um, token, your your, your secret, ID, secret access key, and your client ID, basically, okay? And it doesn't tell you that in the instructions too well, but you have to put those two things in there. And then in the actual index file, the index.html, which it's talking about here, you just have to add your report suite. Okay, it says report suite ID there in the middle of the code block you can see there. Um, it does in all of the code blocks in the file. Now you'll see the gray up at the top here. That means that that one's blocked out because you're using the star in the forward slash. That's just how JavaScript blocks out code. And basically what you're gonna do there is just remove those. But here's the example of the config.js file where you add your username and your secret, okay? And then you save that and then go back to your index file and then you're going to remove those star forward slash um, from the other code blocks and just put in your report suite ID. You can see the cursor blinking there. That's where you put that report suite ID, okay? The one that you enabled the real time reporting uh, in for that report suite, okay? And so you can test out these other ones, but you can see here that I went to file and live preview and it populated um, real time reporting for um, page views and the page next to it. Now this is just an example, just a POC. I just wanted to show you guys real quick how I set it up because it's really cool. It's flashy and I like to show off flashy things, um, especially when I discover them and especially when they're really not too difficult. And there's a lot of examples, a lot of, um, shared work online about setting up these real-time dashboards and so I just wanted to share to spur some ideas so if you have any ideas or if you've done some work on this um, leave a comment and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content that I'll be sharing in the future thanks for watching and I appreciate you a lot and thanks for supporting my journey to data science